What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So today we're going to go to three stores. We're going to hit the Goodwill bins, then the regular Goodwill, and then a good local charity thrift stop. So I've been doing really good at all three spots. Hopefully we come through with some good stuff today. So I appreciate you watching and let's get started. Alright, so before we head out, obviously with the magic of editing, I just got back so I know what I have already. But I have found six music cassettes at the bins. A couple of them are singles and a couple are like full you know, albums on cassette, the vintage style. And I'm going to show them to you. And let's play a little game. Don't cheat. Don't look them up. Just truly go by instinct of what you think. I'm going to show them to you. And then as soon as I show them to you, pause the video, go down below and put in the comment what you think is the most, you know, it, even if it throw all a dollar on one is ten dollars, whichever one you think is the has the highest comps, the most valuable one. So do that, and then continue the video. And later on, I'll tell you what they all comp out at. Of course, at the end of the video, if you feel like putting this, another comment, go for it. It always helps the video. But just drop one now after I show these to you. What's the most valuable one? No cheating, no prizes or anything. But go by instinct. Here's your six choices of cassettes. The first one is Dr. Dre, nothing but a G thing. Cassette single, Tupac, I Get Around. Cassette single, Mary J. Blige, Real Love. Cassette single, R. Kelly, Bump and Grind. Cassette single, De La Soul, Three Feet High and Rising. Complete album on cassette. And Mary J. Blige. What's the 411 album on cassette? All right, so we just pulled up to the bins. It's quarter of. Usually I get here like 20th quarter of. There's only a couple of cars here, so it's looking pretty good. And there's only a couple of people sitting out here. And typically like quarter of, 10 of, people will get out of their cars, but there's only a few here, so. Hopefully it's um, not too crowded. But they're limited to only like 18 or 20 people anyway now. So it hasn't been bad. I've been finding some good stuff lately. So hopefully today comes through. was a um, really good haul from the bins. Not a lot, lot of you know, items, but got some good stuff for sure. So we're gonna go to the regular Goodwill now. Fortunately, I lost my footage for the last two stores. There was nothing but a few clips anyway. So here's a shot of when we went to the Florida Keys. On the left is the Atlantic Ocean, and on the right is the Florida Bay. And in some parts of the Keys, that's how narrow it is. Just a thin strip of land. So I'm back home. Wasn't too bad. Took a few hours. Three local spots: the bins, regular Goodwill, and then that local store. And um, got some really good stuff for sure. 
it's amazing how some days you could go and leave with nothing or one thing and some days you go and you can leave with five or ten things and it's all in frequency the more you go the more often you're gonna have good days today I have to call it a good day so let me get everything situated and we'll go through the whole store by store all right let's go through the stuff from the bins first first up we'll do the shoes this is a pair of green suede vans they're called vans trilo I guess that's some pro skateboarder these things are nice and in great condition you can tell by the inside I don't know if you can see that there's no wear on the name Vans Ultra Crush 3D Pro the bottoms are excellent no wear few light scuffing around the edges that will clean up very easy and these are two pounds and it's $1.75 a pound so these came in roughly about three dollars and fifty cents you could say next pair from the bins a pair of New Balance Women's 420's in like a blue suede it's got like a checker pattern inside again soles in real good condition these are small size six and a half and I just weighed them they're 15 point something ounces so one pound so these were about $1.75 next pair from the bins is called Huck Performance Fishing it's kind of like a very lightweight knit sneaker rubber sole Huck good condition few little light scratches um, these are meant to get wet I never had heard of these but when I saw it I said alright let me look these up because they seem like they're some kind of quality and they weigh just about a pound and a half so it's maybe like two dollars and fifty cents or so and they have comps in like twenty to thirty range so these hucks and then the green canvas vans I didn't even find along the, the bins that hold all the shoes I found these right on the very end of one of the clothing aisles which means probably somebody had them in their cart and then changed their mind and didn't want them and threw them back so I was surprised that they were in the clothing but hey I'm glad I found them I grabbed a couple of smalls Costa which is a fishing and sunglass good company Costa Del Mar this is just a hard case mint condition all the paperwork was in it so whoever bought this just kept the glasses and got rid of the case nice and clean um, this weighs nothing so practically cost me nothing and it might sell for like eight bucks got found this Oakley new with the tag fitted hat Oakley in the back and I don't know what this goes for this could be like a $15 hat maybe even 20 bucks and I found these gloves in real good condition leather and these are like I think they're soccer goalie gloves so again these are nothing maybe they're 50 cents by weight if that and um these sell for about $15 Hey, and I just weighed all three of these items. They come out to 11 ounces altogether. So that's probably like $1.50 for all three. I right, came across these vintage Guess green label writing. And they got a really interesting, I put this on my Instagram. They have a really interesting half zipper with a double button. One is the regular button, but then it's got like a one button fly and then half zipper. Pretty interesting. It's got this weird like pattern on the side. And this is Guest Jeans Georges Marciano Design. 100% cotton, made in the USA, style number 10075. And these have a comp of like high 50s. So this was a really good find. And these jeans weigh 1 pound 12 ounces. So $1.75 a pound, it's almost 2 pounds. So it's probably like $2.50 for these. The last item from the bins are these Sorrel boots these things are monsters their sorrel glacier is the model they got the thin slate lining in it nice and thick actually they call it thin slate I believe so these are in mint condition very clean I mean the bottoms have dirt on them but I'll take that out back and hose that off there is zero wear in the treads and they're marked $20 so they were obviously at the regular Goodwill and not donated directly to the truck or the uh, bins. So these are 20, obviously no one bought them. And these weigh like six, seven pounds almost. So they cost me like eight or nine bucks. But that's okay because I saw good comps, like $80 range. So these are really nice winter boots. So I couldn't leave them behind. And I had to bring these up to the front and ask the lady, because they're so bulky. I said, can I leave these up here? 
and she gives me like a weird look. Like it's so bad that you can't just hold something in the back from me because I can't push a cart around. And like she gives me a look. I've done that in the past. Different woman today, but the same look like you're annoying them and no, they can't do anything to help you. But regardless, I just asked her. She gave me a weird look. I was like, I can't carry all this stuff around. And she said, okay. So I left these up there and it kept going. So it is what it is, but people are afraid to buy bulky stuff at the bins, it seems like. But if there's profit, there's profit. Oh, and I forgot one more thing at the bin. Just this Costa Rica Surf Paradise hat. Like a green foam trucker hat. Nothing big deal. It's not vintage or anything. So maybe 10 bucks. At the regular Goodwill, I came away with some good things as well. Found this pure six pack mineral clear faucet refills. There's open box. There's only five in there. It costs $6 right here. And a full box of this has comps in the 50s, low 50s. And five of them had some comps of about um, $40 or so. When I went over and looked at the bins hanging off the rack that they just rolled out, I saw this pair of running shorts. And I always go and check the women's that have just brought out for this. And this is, you can see the logo right there, Lululemon. I don't know how bright that is. Right there, Lululemon. And these actually, surprisingly enough, have the tag in it. Size 10 tall. And these are mint condition. Maybe they were never worn. I'm not really sure. The crotch, which tends to get worn out. But these would be for running, so I don't know. But they're very clean. They feel nice and crisp. So I just list them as like worn one time. And crazy enough, shorts like this, these running shorts from Lululemon, sell for like $60 to $70 brand new. And used, they're in the $40 range. That's insanity. All right, on the mug rack, I found these two Starbucks mugs. Still with tag. Never used. Perfect condition. These are made in, says made in USA, Ohio. And they're dated 2013, and there's comps of like 20 bucks. And these were $2 each. I already cleaned it off. All right then at the last stop, which is a sister store to my favorite one, which still not open, uh, picked up a pair of the studded Miss Me women's jeans, boot cut. And these were a dollar, because all clothes are a dollar over there. And it's, that sale's been ongoing ever since they opened up over a month ago. Dollar clothing all the time. And in the men's clothing, this place doesn't have the biggest section. But um, sometimes they, you know, they bring out a lot because they got so much going on. These are two, same size. The brand is Eli Cattleman. Size large. These are decent Western wear. Pearl snaps on both of them. So I figured why not grab both. If anybody wears Western wear, typically they wear a lot of it. So I'll give them a good deal since they were a dollar each. And um, like single shirts were only going for like I think 15 bucks. So if I do like... You know, low 20s for two. Someone will buy them up, and I only pay two dollars. Next shirt I found is this Hugo Boss Brazil. Has on the bottom, has a tag Hugo Boss 2014. A beautiful game with the Brazilian flag, and it's the Brazilian colors, yellow and green. And the back says a beautiful game. So I think this has something to do with, uh, I think 2014 Olympics were in Brazil. So that might have something to do with that. Grab this Roots uh, 73 Canada. Not sure what Roots is all about. I saw some listings similar. But again, for $1 it was a unique shirt. And it's got the 73 on the back as well. Has that vintage look. I don't know if it's truly vintage. I'll have to look into it. Alright, I was looking in the hardware parts section. And I found these vintage handheld vices. This one's really heavy. The brand is Pexto. P-E-X-T-O, 12-inch vise. And then I got this other one with a wooden handle. Smaller. No branding on it. But they're both old, so kind of hard to find a cop on this one. I saw some Pexto, but not exactly that one. But either way, there was no price. I asked the guy, what, how much are they? How about a dollar each? And he goes, two for the big, one for the small. So I said, okay. But I always look at the vintage, you know, for vintage tools. Because I've sold some in the past, and they do decent. It was a real cool find. This is the same store that like a week ago or a week and a half ago, whatever, I found the Cutco knife block. And this is Wustoff, which is also a um, great knife brand. 
Probably not as great as value as Cutco, but not too far behind. I have sold Vustoff knives individually, and this is like a, um, I guess you call it like a chef's carry case. It's only two bucks, and, and it unstraps, and it's still got the shoulder strap all in there, brand new. So, I don't think this was ever used. What's that? That's nothing. So, nice find. I have to look it up. But either though, a Wustoff carry case at two bucks, I didn't have to think about it. Pick up this um, mannequin body bust torso, whatever it's called. They had a whole bunch. I believe I took a video clip of it, and it was earlier in the video when I was at this store. They had some of the plastic ones, heads for three dollars. I have some foam heads. They had a few busts, but they're all female ones. I wanted a male one, but then I was like, nah, I don't even need it. But this one, I was contemplating. It has the rotary base on the bottom. It's adjustable up and down. And it's got that French writing all over it. I don't know if you can see it. The Artiste du Roux. Francois Lounge. I don't even know what the hell that says. But either way, it's all on it. It's, it's nice. It's a soft one, which I believe are popular more than the hard ones. Because seamstress and stuff can pin into this. It's got this nice stitching line around it. So it's great condition. This thing looks perfect. And it was seven bucks. So I was like, all right, I'm going to try to flip that on Facebook. All right, so that was a good haul. At least in my book. You know, there's always better, but it was definitely a good day. So let's take a look at all the comps. I picked up 15 items and that is for me a lot usually I leave there with max like five items but it hasn't been crowded so it was good and I spent $25 at Goodwill I left with five items that's about average for $21 you see where that price difference to how cheap the bins is 15 items for 25 the regular Goodwill only five items for 21 and then my local thrift, eight items for $18. So I picked up 28 items today. That's good for a day for me in my area. For $64. Now, unless I miscalculated and missed something or my receipts are inside. But 28 items, $64, which comes out to an average of $2.29 an item. That's pretty good. So I'm pleased with that. Um, I don't have totals of what potential sales would be. I pretty much showed you comps on everything I could find as close as I could. So, great day. Now I gotta do some photography. It's gonna take a while. I might just split this up into like two days because I'm not gonna do this all at once. So, let's go back to those cassette tapes. Hopefully everybody put guesses down below and um, let me show you what they all go for and see if you guessed right or wrong. All right, let's go through them and see who chose right. We'll go from lowest to highest. First, with the no comps available, Mr. R. Kelly, coming in at a whopping zero. Don't even know if I'll list it. Second place, $5. 
I'm kind of averaging out what the comps are. Is Mary J. Blige album. What's the 411? Third place. Coming in at $8. We have the Mary J. Blige Real Love single. Surprising that single is more than the, the album. Then we have a tie for fourth place at $10 each is what's left, Dr. Dre, Tupac. Tupac is not around anymore. His stuff could be valuable. Is he the first one? Dr. Dre, $10. Now we have two left, a $10 and a comp that came in at the highest at $34.99. There was also a couple in the 20s. But this was the highest one I saw, so hey, that's good for me. Which is it? Is De La Soul or Tupac? Now, if you ask me, when I was in the bins, I said it's Tupac. So, coming in at $10 is Tupac and the De La Soul, three feet high and rising. $34.99 comp, and then there's also ones in the 20s. Big surprise in there. I didn't think any of these were going to be that much, you know, but a few bu bucks. I thought Tupac might be a few dollars more. So I threw these all in by weight. So they don't even weigh a half a pound. Practically cost me 50 cents. I think I averaged it out to like 20 cents each or something like that. So what do you think? De La Soul? Does anybody even know who they are? I remember them. I wasn't like a, you know, a fan of them, but I remember hearing their music on the radio. All those cassettes are from like the 90s, I think like 92, 93 in that range. So, and again, they're basically free. All those cassettes were like, came out to like 9 or 10 ounces, so maybe just over half a pound. So it costs like, even if you call it a dollar for those, it's like 20 cents each. So that's nothing. So that's a wrap on this one. I appreciate you watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Hit that thumbs up if it's your first time here. Hit that subscribe. I know I never say these things. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.